Uh, joining us today, Brian Gonzalez from The Board Couple That's and right. uh, oh, one of my favorite people with all the shark booty. But you're talking wine today. I'm and talking wine today. You took that champagne and made a little starter drink That's for called me, an right? aperitif. Mm -hmm. Don't let that name scare you away. That just means it's an old Latin term to mean to open up. You have it at the beginning of a meal. Think of it appetizer, aperitif, to just open up the palate and get you ready to uh, welcome a nice cheese course, if you will. Yeah. So what kind of cheese is this? That's a manchego from Spain. Do I, manchego. do I sip the wine first or taste the cheese first? I'd say take a little sip, okay. take a little bit of cheese, take a little more. Can't go wrong. See, what oh, I wanted good. to do today is show the versatility of wine. Now, there's over 10,000 different varietals in the world, and that can seem kind of daunting for a non-wine drinker, so I just wanted to show how, you know, approachable it is. So, if you want something that just a, a light sipper, you know, mm -hmm. just, you know, you get to a function, you want to serve your guests something nice, uh, bubbles are always good. You know, like we said, bubbles should be celebrated every day. Life is meant to be celebrated. So, um, I have a little wine cocktail that I thought I'd bring you. It starts with a little cream de kisses, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just gonna go one part, and, and then. And I'm sure there's thousands and thousands of recipes thousands. for aperitifs, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And a lot of them with aperitifs and digestives, we'll get into that later, you know, they have a lot of uh, botanical properties, a lot of herbs, and uh, you know, at one point in time, they were considered medicinal. I still consider them medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because it makes you feel better. But yeah, absolutely. Right. a lot of times people think of when it comes to wine, it was white wine with fish, red wine with meat. But you say whatever tastes good, right, for the main course. I feel that those like rules kind of made it a little uh, unapproachable, right? And you know, you don't have to get too snooty booty about it. If you like wine, cheers to you. You should drink more wine. We thank you for drinking more wine. So, um, so you start off with the aperitif. You had your uh, mm -hmm. your cheese course, and it can lead into the the main course. Now I say bubbles are easy. I had the bubbles open. It can be considered aperitif into the main course. So even the, the same thing that you used, and this is going for my, yeah, even if it's a steak, I can still have champagne with absolutely. it, Absolutely, right? I'm big. And if you like, you know, a big red wine, then, you know, try something different today. Or if you like the same thing, you know, open up a cab, try a Barolo with it. You can't go wrong. One thing people get intimidated by, especially at restaurants, is ordering a bottle of wine. And they always think that you have to buy, you have to get the most expensive wine. But again, it's what tastes good to you, right? It's what tastes good to you. And you should always ask, you know, if you tell someone, uh, like the things that you like in a restaurant, you know, you're already starting off really well. They have trained sommeliers there, they have uh, trained staff. You know, uh, if you call us and, and say, hey, I want some nice pairings with your charcuterie board, we can tell you, we can keep it as simple as, you know, Whites and cheeses are best friends. It's hard to find a clash there. And then, of course, the reds and charcuterie meats are lovely. So, for instance, in this charcuterie, you've got a nice Italian salami right here. Could I still do that with a champagne? Or absolutely. should I go with a red wine? No, you this? should absolutely. It's what you like. The sparkling is a nice cleanser to the nice fat on the palate. So that'll carry you through a meal, as well as some heavier reds. But you know, it's cool to round out a meal. What's real popular in Europe that is starting to become something here in uh, the US is digestifs. Now, digestifs are gonna be higher in alcohol and higher in sugar, usually fortified wines, if we're talking wines. Um, and that just means it's higher in alcohol, higher in sugar. So this is the, the dessert, basically. This is the dessert. This is gonna cut through a big meal. It's gonna leave you feeling nice and satiated. It's gonna really coat the tummy and make you feel good. So when you eat a big, heavy steak, or like after Thanksgiving, you know, the trip to van kicks in, and you feel like, you know, sleeping because you got all that just all the meal in your stomach this is going to this will help you settle it now this is actually a port and it has to be from portugal in order to be called a port so it, they're very serious about that it's a tawny port so it has a beautiful tawny color and uh what happens is they store it in these barrels it becomes oxidized Ooh, great it's a flavor bunch of nutty flavors even some like caramel chocolate flavors in there Delicious. And you would eat that with your dessert, with cake, with chocolate or something Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. As a matter Speaking of fact, of a lot of people that say, oh, well, you know, I don't like uh, champagne. Uh, we feel they might have had it in the wrong instance, maybe at a wedding where it wasn't sweet enough. You should always be drinking something that's sweeter than what you're eating. That's a little food science for you there. Oh. Yeah. So have okay. this with that malt and lava cake. Don't feel guilty about it. Enjoy. Okay. Now, as far as your uh, charcuterie boards, this is great because they have got and you called it pretty much grown-up lunchable. I'm saying. A little box lunch that has everything you get in the big board, and you can pick this up or have it delivered, right? You can pick it up, have it delivered. We know that people are on the go with uh, the, you know, people are gonna be wanting to spend time at the lake, 
Memorial Day's coming up, Poolside, Father's Day, whatever have you, you can order a few of these boxes. Uh, we'll even deliver them. And uh, you know, you can have some quality, nice charcuterie meats, some artisan cheeses, and uh, you know, have some pairings there by the lakeside. It'll be great. This is absolutely perfect. And if somebody, if you, you want a little more lesson in how to make one of these charcuterie boards, I always try, it never looks as good, but you're teaching classes in that, right? That's right. We just started up our live in-person workshops. We've been selling them out almost we every weekend, and uh, they're a ton of fun. We have Styling 101, where we show you those beautiful boards that I bring yeah. on. We actually show you how to make those, and uh, we'll even get into food and, and wine pairing basics. And we have another one with a chocolatier coming in. We even have floral arrangements. There's, It's for culinary enthusiasts and people that just want a great night out. And it tastes really good too. This is perfect for a date night too. If you don't want the whole big board, just get a couple of these things and a bottle of the uh, bubbly and you're all set. Make right? a picnic, summer's coming up. I like that idea. Yeah. If you'd like more information on the board couple, and just give us a, or head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And we have provided a link and more information about some of those uh, great courses coming up, the Wine 101 and the Charcuterie 101.